Hello. How are you doing? My name is Professor RSK and I will be your facilitator. Don't forget to keep safe by washing your hands with soap and under running water. Wear your nose mask and practice social distancing. Do well to write all your questions in the comments section. And also note that your comments are welcome. Join me in class for today's lesson. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. You can also join us on all social media platforms by clicking on the link below. You can also read more lessons on our website www.profrsk.com Thank you. Hello and welcome once again to Maths Made Easy. Today in our class we'll be looking at the place value and we are going to also use the number wheel to represent what we are going to discuss. I want you to join me today as we understand how to get our place values and then also to understand how to apply the number wheel. Without wasting much time, let's get to action. All right, so there are two possible ways by which um, questions can come from this direction. Two ways. First, you'll be given a number wheel, okay? You'll be given a number wheel, and then you'll be asked to find the values. So, you are given a number wheel, and then you are asked to find the values. Or, the values are given to you, and then they ask you to represent them on the number wheel. So we are going to look at these two, and I hope by the time we are done, you understand it perfectly. All right, so let's get to it. Now, let's look at our first example. Our first example, we have been given the number wheel, just as you can see, the number wheel, and the dots are not just dots, but they are, they are numbers. So we are going to understand them gradually, and then we move from there. All right? Let me also make you understand my symbols. So I have ones, I have tens, I have hundreds, I have thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or hundreds of thousands, then I have million. I have ten of million, hundred of million, or hundreds of million, and then I have billion. But I just want you to understand, so this is ten of a million, hundred of a million, thousands, okay, so tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and then we move in that direction. Is that okay? All right. So let's proceed. Now that we have understood our symbols, we can easily relate. Okay. So we are simply being asked to find the values and then we'll represent it in a chart like this. So the first one is our ones. Okay, so our ones. So we'll count the number of dots. We have one, two, one, two. So the ones column, we have only two. I, I hope you understand. So we'll write that one here, two. Easy. Then we come to the tens. How many dots do we have? One, two, three. We write that one here, three. 
Then we come to the hundreds. How many dots do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is six hundred. So we write it here. Our six hundred. Let's go to the thousand. How many dots do we have? One, two, three, four, and that is four thousand. So we write our four thousand. You can see four and then three digits. All right. So that is our thousand. Then we can go to our tens of thousand, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we have seven here at, at the tens of thousands. So we can have 74,632. Are we done? No. So we proceed from here. So tens of thousands, we are here. And then we go to hundreds of thousands. Let's see whether we have some dots around. So we go one and two and no other dots. So we come to this place. Now we are at hundreds of thousand. So we have 200,742. Okay, so 274,632. Okay, so 274,1632. So that is one, two, three digits. So 274,632. So let's take note of that one. That is hundreds of thousands. You can see the two is here. We have two other digits representing hundred and then our three digits representing thousand. So 274,632. We've taken note of that one. All right. So as we progress, we can come to our million. So let's check whether we have any value for a million. We have one, two, okay. And it is only two. So we have our two here. Now we are our million. So we will say two million, two, seven, four thousand. 274,632. 632. All right. So that is at the million point. All right. So when the teacher demands that you do more, then we can go further to a billion. Here it is the same as when we were at tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and then we are moving. So we will look at a ten of a million, and then hundred of a million, ten of a million, hundred of a million. So let's go. So let's look at our million. We are finished with our million, and then we come to our ten. So T represents ten of a million. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight here. All right. So we have 82 million, 672, 632. So I hope you are getting it. Gradually we are going. If the teacher still demands that you move a step further, then we will come to hundred of a thousand. I prefer to say hundred of a thousand, hundreds of thousand. All right, hundreds of a million. All right, so let's come to our hundreds of million on the wheel chart, okay? The number wheel. All right, so we count hundred of a million. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have another eight at the hundreds of a million. All right, so hundreds of million. So we, we can also say that eight hundred and eighty two million right two hundred and seventy four thousand six hundred and thirty two so easy 
Okay? So first, let's understand the chart. And then the dots will represent the numbers. And then we'll write the numbers with respect to what we have been given. Finally, we have gotten to a billion. How many dots do we have? Let's move round, 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 round. And then we come to only one. So we are here. One billion. Okay. Very simple to write. I hope you'll be able to do it. Let's look at our second example. In this second example, we have been given the values. And the instructor is asking us to represent this value on the number wheel. Very easy. So we look at the first one. That is the ones. How many do we have? Five. Then we put our five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Tens is two. So this is our tens. One and two. Okay? One here and two there. Then we come to our hundreds. It is only one. Then we put our, one, our dot there. I hope you are following. I hope you are following. All right. So we come to our thousand. And the value is what? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Very easy. And then tens of thousand is two. So this is tens of thousand. One, two. Then we come to hundreds of thousand. We have three. So we have one, two, three. Easy. Then we come to million. Four. One, two, three, four. You can put a dot at any point, but make sure that you are within the range. Is that okay? And then we come to tens of a million. We have how many? One. Only one. Okay, so we'll put that dot here. Good. Then we come to hundreds of a million. We have here four. One, two, three, four. And then we are done. Then we come to our billion. So we are here. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is mass made easy. I hope you will try more examples. Please watch the video to the end. There will be a short assignment. Do it and submit it to me on any of the channels. You can WhatsApp me or send it to my Telegram page by just clicking on the link below. Thank you very much for joining us today. This is Mass Made Easy with Prof. RST. Thank you very much for joining us for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Kindly subscribe to our channel and help it grow. Read more on our website www.profrsk.com and search for Prof. RSK on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Telegram. Join us again for another lesson. Bye-bye.